All right, here we are. I've got some um, some ideas here. I really like, so I've been playing Wraithbinder a little bit, you know, basically just killing the bots. And um, and then you and then after you've killed the bots, there's a boss fight here in the middle of the um, of the arena, and you fight the boss. And once the boss is defeated, that's the end of the match, right? And you get a win if you beat the boss. You get a loss for everybody if you don't beat the boss. And the player who um, is the one who is last left alive is the MVP. So it's kind of a hybrid between something like a battle royale and a death match, and basically just a multiplayer spinoff of Songbringer. I'm trying to kind of create my own multiplayer game here, not trying to go with any genre really. So, um, but so it, along those lines, right? The the general theme of this game is you. I want to add a little bit more exploration because right now um, I've got the bots disabled. Uh, they're gone right now, um, just so I can focus on like you know doing just stuff with just this current player or, or animations or something like that. It's really distracting when there's bots that come over and try and kill you and you're like, I just want to see that animation down to the pixel level. So anyways, um, but so along those lines, I want to add ex some exploration too. And that'll make it more kind of like the Songbringer um, vibe anyways, right? So I'm thinking that what'll the way you'll start out is you'll start out with your sword or um, I mean any kind of weapon this he's got a spear right now so you start off with your weapon and your armor right and that kind of stuff you earn outside of the match it's a, in a meta game or it'll probably be a, a visceral hub world type thing but then so you so so you start with just those things right but the, there's all sorts of other items you can gain like this um, the levitate skill um, there's, uh, the blink skill. I want to add some more like speed running, um, skills. And then there's like all sorts of weapons too. So you can have the ghost sword, which is, we currently have right now, um, or grenades, or there's, it could be bombs, mines, uh, all sorts of other weapons, maybe arrows, guns, and that stuff, all that extra stuff, the mobility items, the extra weapons, those you have to go find. So first, the first thing in your match, you're probably going to want to go find some extra weapons and a mobility skill at least. And, um, and then you can go fight other players. Um, and then you go fight the boss, right? And, and even if you die, you keep your mobility skill and your mobility or in your, in your extra weapons and stuff like that. So you fight as a ghost with all the stuff that you found when you were alive. Um, so a lot so also with a little bit more exploration i want to add some uh some enemies some creeps that are neutral not on any team you just go can go fight them level up a little bit you gain your, your character gets a little bit stronger throughout the match i think that could also be really interesting right you've got this element of exploration you got an element of progression where your player is growing you've got different sorts of uh skills and weapons and extra weapons that you gain each match um and then, of course, you've got the whole PvP aspect where if you, you're you the last man standing, you are the MVP. And then you've got a co-op co aspect, too, where you all go fight the boss at the end. So maybe I'm trying to, like, do too much in one video game here. But I think this could work, right? It, uh, matches might be something... A the matches are definitely going to be a little bit longer with a more exploration and, and enemies and things like that. But I think it can add just more stuff that you can do, more experiences that you can have in this game called Wraithbinder. So, that's where I'm work I'm I'm that's what I'm working on right now. And but also um while I was doing that today, I fixed the camera movement. It was always it was really really jittery before because it was moving on the pixel levels. Let's slow down time a little bit. And you can see that it's moving smoothly. Right. If you focus on maybe like the one in the one of the pixels in the top left of the screen, you can see that it's smoothly moving along the sub pixel. Um, the camera used to be j more jerky as it would uh, move a pixel at a time. So that's kind of like on this computer screen right now. That's a, a pixel is translating into actually like eight pixels uh, because we've you know zoomed it all up. So. Having that movement down to the floating point accuracy, down to the, the sub-pixel, really helps the camera look a lot smoother. And it's something you don't even notice when you're playing a nice, smooth video game from that's 60 FPS. But if you're, you know, this is a game I'm developing and I just never really noticed. I was like, oh my gosh, that is horrible. That's That camera movement is really bad. I need to fix that right now. So I'm glad to have it all nice and uh, smooth now. 
So there you have it. Another video making the game Wraith Binder. And uh, we'll catch you next time.